on air, online, on demand. Watch AFR when you want, where you want with CN8, the Comcast network. The Texas Sheriff's Department has caused quite a stir there in that small little town and so it's the big story in that town and it begins in Magnolia, Texas. Now that's right outside of Houston. The reason that it's such a big story there and such a buzz is because the newest recruit there who is 70 years old and her name is Mary Sykes. There she is. She's a grandmother who fulfilled a lifelong dream by joining the Sheriff's Department. And as we said, people are applauding her there. We're going to get her on the phone and talk to her about this new job. Hello, um, uh, Ms. Sykes, are you there? Yes, I am here. Well, it's so good to talk to you. Now, now should I call you Grandma Sykes or Officer Granny or Officer Sykes? What do you want me to call just you? Just calling me Mary. Oh no, I've got to put a handle on your name. You're special. We'll call you. We'll call you Officer Sykes. Uh, actually, uh, it's a deputy. <laughs> oh, it's deputy. It's not. It's not with the sheriff's department. Well, who's it with? It's with the constable's department in precinct five of Montgomery County. I see. I see. Well, here's here's the big question. Did they give you a gun? No, I had to buy my own. You had to buy your own? Yes. Well, that doesn't sound right. I mean, they don't supply the firearm. You have to go and get your own. What kind of gun did you get? Smith & Wesson M&P models, 9mm semi-automatic. Wow, that's big stuff. A Smith & Wesson 9mm automatic. Now, are you carrying that gun right now, uh, Deputy Sykes? No, I'm at home right now. Oh, you're at home right now. <laughs> well, what's that been like for you? This has been a lifelong dream of yours, huh? Yes, it, it has been. Yeah, and, and you, you just couldn't give it up. You, you, you just never put that too far out of your mind? That is correct. Yeah, and what's been the reaction from some of the other officers um, on the force there uh, of, of you coming on board? We see pictures of you right now, and they're applauding you, and everyone seems to be smiling. Well, I owe the constable, David Hill, a lot of thanks for offering me a place where I could be part of law enforcement and contribute to my community. Yeah, yeah. He has a wonderful bunch of deputies over there. They've welcomed me with open arms. It's a laid-back, small-town kind of at atmosphere. Yeah. But now, uh, uh, Deputy Sykes, you, you, you have a lot of respect there. If there was trouble on the street and you, you confronted that trouble, would you be more inclined to just give the person a good scolding like a grandma would? Or would you not hesitate to pull out that Smith & Wesson that you have there, should the situation warrant it? If the situation warranted it, yes, I would. You, you, you'd pull it out. And have you, have you fired the weapon? Have you been to the range? You have to qualify on the range before you can get your commission with uh, the Texas Commission on Law Enforcement Officers Standards and Education. They mandate what your training is. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We had a minimum of 40 hours of firearms training. Yeah. Well, let's hope you never, <coughs> excuse me, have to use it. But you sure are an inspiration to a lot of people all over. And your story just was a big story. And we had to talk to you here. And uh, we wish you all the best out there. And you know what they say to law enforcement personnel? They say, let's be careful out there, Grandma Sykes. Absolutely. Okay. Good luck to you. Thank you very take, much. Take care of that Smith & Wesson 9mm. All right.